Please be seated. Good morning. My name is Rod Blackwood. I'm the Provost of Lubbock Christian University, and it's my great privilege to be able to welcome you to the December undergraduate commencement exercise. Today is certainly a significant milestone in the lives of these graduating students, but it's not really an end. The significance of today is that all the hard work and diligence on the part of these students is resulting in a great academic achievement, a college degree. The ceremony, the ceremony also signifies that these students are prepared for the next part of their journey. Thank you for joining us as we celebrate this very significant achievement in the lives of our graduating students. Our invocation will be led by uh, Caleb Blakeney, graduating today with a Bachelor of Arts in Music Education. Caleb is from Bertram, Texas, and is the son of Gary and Robin Blakeney. And after our invocation, President uh, Tim Perrin will also extend a welcome. Caleb? If you would, please remove your hats. And if you would, please pray with me. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for today. Uh, we thank you for the blessing of waking up this morning. And we thank you for the blessing of being here at this moment, at this pivotal time in our lives. Thank you for giving us this opportunity to come to a school that holds you first in their lives, that holds you first and then teaches us to strive to be, to be better citizens, to be better students, to be better learners. Lord, we thank you for this time, and we thank you for this campus that has blessed each and every single one of us sitting here in this audience today. We pray that the blessings that they have bestowed upon us, we will in turn take out into the world, that we will use those blessings, and we will spread those blessings to others around us. Lord, as we prepare to graduate this morning, may we look towards you, and may we look towards the future that you have in store for us. May we take the talents that you have given each and every single one of us, and may we use those, use those to, to better this world, to better the communities that we will live in, to better the lives of those around us. Lord, as this campus has blessed us, we in turn want to ask that you bless this campus. Bless the faculty that have so prepared us for the future. Bless the faculty that have poured their lives into our lives. Lord, we pray that you bless the administration. We pray that you would bless uh, the board. We pray that you would just bless this campus and may it continue to be a light in this world. Lord, we thank you for Jesus and we thank you for what he did for us on the cross. And in Jesus' name, amen. Good morning. Such a great thrill to get to join with Dr. Blackwood in welcoming you to the December 2014 commencement exercises at Love of Christian University. I'm so glad you've been able to join us today. Now, we'll get to do this a number of times, but won't you join me now in showing our appreciation and congratulations to the 2014 December graduates at Love of Christian University? So proud of these students. Graduations, for those of us who work in higher education, are bittersweet moments. We have a tinge, or maybe a little bit more than a tinge of sadness, as uh, these young students who we've developed such close, such close relationships with leave us. It makes us sad. But it's mostly a time of great joy, because our work uh, with these students has uh, brought us to this point, and we know that they are ready for what lies ahead, that they are prepared and equipped to go out and make a difference in the world, that they will, in their chosen profession, uh, be successful, not in a way defined by the world, although we hope that uh, those kinds of successes come as well, but that they will be successful by changing the world by the kind of people they are. That's what LCU seeks to do. So we offer our hopes and prayers for these graduates today as they uh, uh, go out from us, not really leave us, but as they take the next step, move on to the next chapter of their lives. Many, many years ago in a world without hashtags or Twitter or Instagram or anything like that, computers really, uh, I sat 
uh, and as, as a graduate from Love of Christian University, uh, not right here, it wasn't nearly this elegant and nice. I was in a different building that you might recognize uh, just across campus. But uh, I sat where you are and uh, had the same uh, anxieties and the same hopes for the future that many of you have today, wondering what's ahead and wondering if I'm ready. And it's so, uh, it's, uh, it's very significant to me to be in this position and to know that yes, you're ready, you've been prepared. And uh, there are great things that God has prepared for you in your future. You go with our deepest hopes and prayers. It's my great privilege to introduce you uh, to one of my colleagues who will introduce our student speaker this morning. Dr. Kathy Box is an associate professor of education, having taught at LCU since 2008. She currently serves as the vice chair of the faculty senate. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Kathy Box. Thank you, President Perrin. It is my distinct honor this morning to introduce our student speaker to you, Molly Cox. Molly is receiving, receiving a Bachelor of Science in Interdisciplinary Studies and Secondary Education and plans to teach technology applications and communications upon graduation. She comes from a rich heritage of educators, many of whom are LCU alumni. Her father received his master's degree from here and is a principal at Plains. Her brother is a missionary who teaches English in China and he married an LCU grad uh, from the School of Education as well. Her mother's in pre-K uh, at Friendship, her sister, an LCU education graduate, also teaches English at Friendship. It's truly a family affair for Ms. Cox. I remember the day that Molly entered my office and she said, you know, I want to teach. And uh, she had, at that time, um, tried a few different majors and just couldn't quite find her niche until she found education. She has indeed found her calling and the plan that God has for her. We've watched with delight as she's embraced teaching with enthusiasm and a sense of purpose as she prepares to go into the world and make a difference in the lives of children. Her friends describe her as energetic, fun-loving, loyal, genuine. Faculty and staff who know her describe her as conscientious, enthusiastic, hardworking. She's well known on campus. Molly jumps in with both feet no matter what she does. While here on campus, this is just a few things she's been involved in. She served as a counselor for Camp Encounter, as a student sen senate member and chair of the Student Involvement Committee, a leader in Kappa Phi Kappa, in the admissions office and tutoring center, as a staff writer for the Duster Today and co-host of the radio show called Those Two Tall Girls. Not sure about that. And she's been involved in flight plan and praise choir and many other things. As you can tell, she's taken full advantage of the opportunities here at LCU. And I can just tell you that Molly Cox will be sorely missed. Molly. Hi, wowza, okay. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you for coming to our campus to watch and support all the graduates today of Lubbock Christian University. I can remember the first time I came onto this campus. I was 14 years old and coming to watch Master Follies for the first time. My sister had just graduated from high school and as a freshman was a new member in club, and we came to see her fly high as a flight attendant, which was the theme of her club show. I would discover as I grew older and continue to attend Follies that the traditions associated with clubs as they prepare to present their shows were meant to be cherished and followed to the letter. Little did I know that watching that first Follies show was the beginning of my growing love for Lubbock Christian University. Over the years, I found happiness and spiritual growth through Encounter, a summer camp for high school students, where many a night was spent in Katie Rogers, giggling in dorm rooms and opening up our hearts to women of LCU and other campers who are also destined to join in the LCU experience. Through these adventures, I got to see what college life was like before I actually became a student. On campus visits, I came to know that professors prayed before class, and during, and after, or whenever they felt that God was calling them to. I came to know that the marriage swing is real and can change your life. I came to know that couples I looked up to for so many years at church graduated from LCU and met there and shared their love with their friends and family. I came to know the acceptance of being in club and the blessing of Kappa Phi Kappa 
and that Student Senate was probably one of the coolest things you could do while you were on campus. So when it finally was time to decide where I would go and spend the next four to maybe five years of my life, it was a no-brainer. I knew where my heart belonged and I never looked back. LCU was where God had meant for me to be. He knew that I would find friends that would last a lifetime and a sister had to help me get through college. And he knew that I would find professors that would forever change my life. God knew that LCU not only would have the nourishment I needed to grow in knowledge, but he knew that this campus would forever change my walk with him. Not everyone is graduating from the education department, obviously, uh, but let me tell you about Dr. Kathy Box. She's been my professor for the last two years and a mentor in my personal life for just as long. She's such a wonderful example of an ethical Christian educator, and I'm so incredibly proud to say that I've learned from her example. Dr. Box and Dr. David Boyer have both been teaching us for the last year in our methods classes how important it is to be Christian educators. For example, how to improve a student's day with a simple conversation, but also to be an effective teacher. They have shown us kindness and have worried about our success in college just as much as we have. And I know that they are both extremely proud of all their students who have become teachers. I know that my fellow graduates have experienced the same encouragement from their professors as well. I've been extremely fortunate in college um, to get to experience many different majors, six to be exact. While I didn't always know what I wanted to do in life, the people I met along the way were always encouraging. Having the curse of being unable to make up my mind gave me the blessing of being a part of many different departments. And although the subjects changed, no matter the career path we were working towards, the content was always the same. We should fulfill our career goals with a servant heart. The professors at LCU do just that. They teach, and they worry, and they slave over our education so that when we graduate, we are the best people we can be, not just the best in our career field. They make a daily effort to help us grow spiritually and mentally that you just won't find at another university. They do pray for us when we are in class and when they are at home with their families. And even when they piled on assignments like their dreaded research papers, the education that they provided us didn't stop there. By having to write so much, we learned to budget our time and also just how long we can run on no sleep. We learned responsibility and hard work, and I will forever be grateful for Leilani Carter's human development paper that taught me that I am not invincible and that I do need to study. These men and women, however, don't just teach in the classroom. They are our sponsors for clubs and organizations. They are our mentors for when we completely lose it, and, some of, and to some of us, they are family. But it isn't just the faculty. Because of the staff that is dedicated to student success at LCU, like the women of the flight plan program, I know that I couldn't have made it through college with, without some very special and patient people. Um, I would like for everyone in the audience who has graduated from Lubbock Christian University to please stand. Oh, continue standing. Nope, keep standing. Keep it up, here we go, keep standing, okay. <laughs> Look around. These people that you see have walked the same halls as you. We have come through in different eras, have been through different experiences in life, and have spent at our time at, at LCU in different ways. But today we stand together as products of Lubbock Christian University. We are men and women who have learned to love the Lord with the help of an amazing group of people who are devoted to our education as well as our relationships with Christ. I am proud to be graduating from LCU, where no matter how far along I am in life, I can always be blue. Thank you. Thank you, Molly. Thank you for reminding us of the high standard that uh, is expected of us as faculty and staff and administrators. Uh, it's, it's really wonderful to be able to hear from students to remind us of that high calling. And it's also very wonderful to be able to see you as you graduate and recognize, hopefully, some success in, those, in reaching those standards. So again, Molly, thank you for those inspirational words and for the encouragement that it brings to us. Our commencement speaker today will be introduced by Dr. Michelle Kraft who is a professor of art, education, and assistant dean of the Hancock College of Liberal Arts and Education. Dr. Kraft.
I have the distinct pleasure of introducing the commencement speaker for this morning, my colleague, Dr. Craig Fair. If Dr. Fair ever invites you to accompany him to the Texas, uh, I think it's the American actually, Wind Power Museum here in Lubbock, Texas, you really have got to go with him because you will never see windmills the same way again. Did you know, for instance, that in 1897, a Dallas Morning News article reported that a UFO had crashed into a windmill. This was in Aurora, Texas. There's a historical marker there to this effect. According to the story, a Martian who did not survive the crash was buried with Christian rites. And who knew that there were Atlas nuclear missile silos outside Abilene? Dr. Fair knows, and he takes his students to see them. You see, Dr. Fair believes in the specificity of the artifact, in the magic of place, and in the power of experience in engaging students with the lessons of history. At the root of history is story, and it is that power of narrative that connects person to person and past to present to future. Dr. Fair has published numerous peer-reviewed articles, book reviews, and book chapters on subjects related to Texas history, to wind energy and ecology, to geology, and to the McCarthy era. He presented his, has presented his research at many national and regional scholarly conferences and community events. Dr. Fair approaches his teaching, his scholarly work, and his day-to-day -day interactions with students and colleagues with wisdom and grace and humor. Dr. Fair's true passion, though, is teaching. He has taught at Lubbock Christian University since 2000, but he has also educated students at Wayland Baptist University, Texas Tech University, Midwestern State University, and the Lubbock Independent School District. He is the recipient of numerous teaching awards, including the Alpha Chi Honor Society Excellence in Teaching Award, the LCU Student Sen Senate Commendation for Excellence in Teaching, and the L.R. Wilson Award for Teaching Excellence. His peers and students alike recognize his dedication to educational excellence, which makes him the perfect speaker for today's commencement. H.G. Wells said that human history becomes more and more a race between education and catastrophe. Dr. Craig Fair, in his passion for student learning and in his belief in education as a lifelong pursuit, is creating his own imprint on human history through his compassionate and excellent dedication to educating students to be thoughtful and responsible citizens. Dr. Craig Fair. Well, thank you, Dr. Kraft, for that willful exaggeration of my accomplishments. Uh, good morning, all. Uh, apparently, there is a temporary celebrity status that one has as a graduation speaker. When I arrived today, there was a little portable sign outside reserving parking for me. I'm going to take that with me everywhere, uh, <laughs> Target, the mall. Uh, I've received congratulations from my colleagues even before giving my speech. And before that, on my way here this morning, imagine my surprise when I saw that I had a police escort. <laughs> Oddly, instead of leading me, he was behind me with his lights flashing. <laughs> but he followed me all the way here and would not leave until I gave him my autograph. In fact, in fact there was some discussion of me going somewhere with him downtown to have my picture taken. Uh, but here I am. Here we are celebrating you, celebrating our students, our graduates, You've spent two, three, four, five, maybe more years learning and exploring, and now equipped with the skills and language of your chosen field, it's time for you to continue your personal growth and the advance of humankind. That's exciting. Uh, you're to be commended. Uh, you're the ones who attended class most of the time. Uh, you're the ones who read the books and articles and took the test and researched and wrote numerous papers unless you plagiarized them. Oh, what? I'm sorry, Dr. Perrin told me to treat this more like a roast than a formal speech. Um, he also said that if I finished my talk in 12, 12 minutes or less, that someone would take me to lunch. Do we have volunteers? You, sir? You? Then let's continue. <laughs> 
for all of the work these students have done, the countless hours of study and preparation, they should indeed be recognized. And yet, ADVANCE is not a solitary endeavor, whether inside or outside of the classroom, before graduation or, af or after. For instance, Würzburg, Germany, November 1895. Physicist Wilhelm Röntgen was experimenting with cathode ray tubes, bulbs by sending electricity through them. He noticed that even when the bulbs were covered, a screen a short distance away glowed. Some sort of energy was coming from the bulbs. Rentgen was curious about this, so he called to his wife and told her to put her hand between the bulb and the screen. I mean, he can't do it. He has to write down what's happening. Uh, when Anna held up her hand, the rays went straight through the soft tissue of her hand, but couldn't go through the bones. It made a picture on the screen of bone-shaped shadows inside a glowing hand. Anna, when she saw it, called to her husband and said, I have seen my death, and she was right. 24 hours later, she was dead. Uh, no, she wasn't. What kind of a graduation speech would that be? <laughs> they lived happily ever after. And in histories of science, Anna Berta Ludwig Röntgen gets credit for assisting her husband in his discovery of what came to be known as X-rays. Around the same time, on the other side of the Atlantic in Battle Creek, Michigan, the Kellogg brothers, John and Will, worked to improve human health. Their resort, the sand, sported a giant circle drive out in front of it, on which John, the elder brother, bicycled daily. It was during his cycling regimen that John got his best ideas. Nothing, uh, nothing like working up a good sweat to make you alert and insightful, he believed. Unfortunately, he could not cycle around the drive, come up with great ideas, and write them down all at the same time. But, but he had his younger brother, Will, there to assist him. Pen and paper in hand, Will would run behind John, jotting down the ideas that John shouted out as he pedaled around the circle drive. And together they invented aerobics and, of course, Kellogg Corn Flakes, which our own CW Post copied and sold as Post Toasties. Advance is not a solitary endeavor. Clara Barton, founder of the American Red Cross, was bankrolled by oil man John D. Rockefeller. Pilot Amelia Earhart had a ground crew. Daniel Hale Williams, who performed the first open heart surgery, had a team of nurses and physicians Particle physicist and Nobel Prize winner Luis Alvarez put his own research on hold to help his son, geologist Walter Alvarez, develop evidence for his theory that an asteroid impact led to the extinction of the dinosaurs. Again, advance is no solitary endeavor. Assembled in this building today are our December 2014 graduates who have advanced in their learning, and surrounding them are hundreds of people that have helped along the way knowledge and love and resources and prayer. Please stand and remain standing as I call the role of those who have helped our graduates arrive at this moment. First, would the LCU faculty stand? Please remain standing. Next, would Lubbock Christian staff stand? And I suppose we should have the administrators stand as well. <laughs> now the parents and grandparents of the graduates, would you stand? Spouses and significant others, siblings, aunts, uncles, and cousins, in-laws and outlaws, you know who you are. <laughs> Friends and other assorted acquaintances, pets that were smuggled in. <laughs> Let's have a round of applause for this community of learning. <laughs> now, if you would be seated, except for Dr. Jeff Carey of the Bible Department, uh, you may sit now, Jeff. <laughs> Power is fun. <laughs> I do not know if Dr. Carey has been to the Metropolitan Museum of Art, the Met in New York City, but I do know that Dr. Carey loves art, so much so that he would choose a trip to an art gallery over a free lunch at the best barbecue joint in the Hill Country. Uh, but in the Met, in that globally renowned museum, hangs the painting, Washington Crossing the Delaware, produced in 1851 by Emanuel Leutze after he immigrated to the United States from Germany. Almost everyone is familiar with this painting. Washington stands in the bows of the boat, eyes fixed on a distant shore, and around him are 11 men pulling at the oars, guiding the boat. 
11 men of varied background and station, but united and essential for the advance of Washington's plan and for the birth of a hope-filled nation. I, for one, am thankful for those that help, just as I am thankful for those that lead. To all of you, but especially to our December 2014 graduates, I say, be the visionary, lead, and take up the oars as well. Help others to attain their worthy goals. Graduates, your faculty, family, and friends have invested in you. Take the product of their sacrifice and their faith and reinvest it in others. Use what you have been given and what you have worked for to further the advance of humankind. Congratulations. Thank you, Dr. Fair. There's so much I would like to say right now, but I'm going to filter myself pretty heavily. My dad, as many of you know, was a longtime history professor at LCU, much beloved in his time. Uh, and uh, Dr. Fair and his colleagues in our current history department are worthy heirs of that legacy. I love Dr. Fair's use of humor, the way he's able to tell a story, his love of teaching, and the way he loves students and shows that through the way he engages with them. Uh, Dr. Fair, would you join me back at the podium? We have a tradition here at LCU of presenting our commencement speakers with the Bible. We want to do that here today in recognition of your important leadership at LCU and your participation in this commencement exercise. This is inscribed as follows. Dr. Fair, you have a real penchant for bringing life to the stories and the facts from days of old. You live out the LCU mission of changing lives by purposefully engaging with students beyond the classroom, showing them what a Christian looks like by living it out in front of them. Thank you for sharing your influence and inspirational words with the December graduating class of 2014. Thank you, Dr. Fair. University is composed of three colleges, each led by its academic dean. These deans will step forward in the following order uh, in order to present their students to the president for the granting of the degrees. Dr. Jesse Long, Dean of the College of Biblical Studies and Behavioral Science. Dr. Susan Blassingame is the Dean of the Hancock College of Liberal Arts and Education. And then finally, Dr. Toby Rogers is the Dean of the B. Ward Lane College of Professional Studies. Dr. Long. President Perrin, may I present the candidates from the College of Biblical Studies and Behavioral Sciences who have completed requirements for their degrees this semester. Will the Bachelor of Arts candidates please stand? Will the Bachelor of Social Work candidates please stand? President Perrin, may I present the candidates from the Hancock College of Liberal Arts and Education who have completed requirements for their degrees this semester. Will the Bachelor of Arts candidates please stand? Will the Bachelor of Music candidate please stand? Will the Bachelor of Science and Interdisciplinary Studies candidates please stand? President Perrin, may I present the candidates from the B. Ward Lane College of Professional Studies who have completed requirements for their degrees this semester. Will the Bachelor of Arts candidates please stand? Will the Bachelor of Business Administration candidates please stand? Will the Bachelor of Science candidates please stand? Will the Bachelor of Science in Nursing candidates please stand? President Perrin, these candidates have fulfilled the academic requirements for their respective bachelor degrees and received the recommendation of the faculty and their majors. Therefore, the deans recommend these candidates be granted the bachelor degree in their respective areas. 
based upon the recommendation of the faculty and by the power vested in me by the Lubbock Christian University Board of Trustees and as president of this great university. It's my privilege to hereby confer upon you the bachelor's degree with all of the rights, privileges, and responsibilities thereto appertaining. Congratulations. Will the escorts for the candidates please rise? Will the escorts now hood the candidates? Will the escorts please be seated? Will the candidates please be seated? Jerry Harris, Chairman of the Board of Trustees of Lubbock Christian University, will present diplomas to the students. The dean of each respective college will read the name of each student as they step on the stage. President Perrin will greet and congratulate each student as they leave the stage. Will the marshals please take their places? From the College of Biblical Studies and Behavioral Sciences, Vincent Ryan Nevis, Bachelor of Arts, Children's Ministry from Hazlitt, Texas. He is an Honors Scholar graduating cum laude. Trevor Devon Chadwick, Bachelor of Arts in Criminal Justice from Fort Worth, Texas, graduating cum laude. Aaron Dosal, Bachelor of Arts in Criminal Justice from Dallas, Texas. Angelica Mendoza, Bachelor of Arts in Criminal Justice from Plains, Texas. Graham Landry Ritchie, Bachelor of Arts in Criminal Justice from Rowlett, Texas. Justin Cervantes. Bachelor of Arts in Criminal Justice from Brownfield, Texas. Melissa Cantu, Bachelor of Arts in Family Studies from Leveland, Texas. Justin Ryan Lewis, Bachelor of Arts in Family Studies from Odessa, Texas. Jonathan Federico Edwards, Bachelor of Arts in Missions from San Diego, California. <laughs> Heather Ann Hood, Bachelor of Arts in Psychology from Abernathy, Texas. Matthew Wes Anderson, Bachelor of Arts in Youth and Family Ministry from San Angelo, Texas. Michaela Morgan Chadwick, Bachelor of Arts in Youth and Family Ministry from Fort Worth, Texas, graduating as an Honors Scholar, magna cum laude. Samantha Nicole Fleming, Bachelor of Arts in Youth and Family Ministry from San Angelo, Texas. Ronald Braxton, Bachelor of Arts in Social Work from Sacramento, California. Arlene Maynette Clifton, Bachelor of Social Work from Florida, Texas. Elise Elaine Evans, Bachelor of Social Work from Lubbock, Texas. Rosa Hernandez, Bachelor of Social Work from Whiteface, Texas. Mackenzie Michelle Lewis, Bachelor of Social Work from Odessa, Texas. Samantha Lungstrom, Bachelor of Social Work from Uvalde, Texas. Barbara Ann Stewart, 
Bachelor of Social Work from Lubbock, Texas. Belinda Diane Taylor, Bachelor of Social Work from Lubbock, Texas, graduating magna cum laude. Deanna Michelle Wilson, Bachelor of Social Work from Lubbock, Texas. Andreas Martin Gonzalez, Bachelor of Arts, Art Education, Lubbock, Texas. Corey Michelle Childry, Bachelor of Arts, Communication Organization, Murphy, Murphy Texas. Jeffrey Michael Bogan, Bachelor of Arts, Communication Design, Loop, Texas. Autumn Claire Posey, Bachelor of Arts, Communication Design, Rotan, Texas. Marissa Nicole Hale, Bachelor of Arts in English and Missions from Flower Mound, Texas. She is an Honor Scholar. Kendall McCullough, Bachelor of Arts in English, Lubbock, Texas, Honor Scholar. Renee Deanne Rhodes, Bachelor of Arts in English, Austin, Texas, Honor Scholar, Summa Cum Laude. Zachary Kyle Woodbridge, Bachelor of Arts in English, Allen, Texas, Magna Cum Laude. Brendan Ray Clary, Bachelor of Arts of History, Denton, Texas. Allison Marie Reeves, Bachelor of Arts in History, Nocona, Texas. Aaron Michael Aguilar, Bachelor of Arts in Humanities, Lubbock, Texas. Gina Felicia Rosalino, Bachelor of Arts in Humanities, Houston, Texas. Kimberly Lynn Sylvia, Bachelor of Arts in Humanities, Amarillo, Texas, Honor Scholar, and Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Caleb John Blakeney, Bachelor of Music and Music Education, Bertram, Texas, Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Miriam Shirley. Aramuni, Bachelor of Science in Interdisciplinary Studies, Early Childhood Education, San Antonio, Texas, summa cum laude. Camber Ray Banks, Bachelor of Science in Interdisciplinary Studies, Early Childhood Education, Spring Lake, Texas. April Bergerson, Bachelor of Science in Interdisciplinary Studies, Early Childhood Education, Lubbock, Texas. Allison Lee Eaton, Bachelor of Science in Interdisciplinary Studies, Early Childhood Education, Lubbock, Texas, Cum Laude. Amber Christine Kendrick, Bachelor of Science in Interdisciplinary Studies, Early Childhood Education, Lubbock, Texas, Cum Laude. Shonda Ray Bayer, Bachelor of Science in Interdisciplinary Studies, Early Childhood Education, Lubbock, Texas, Cum Laude. Darian Nicole Petty, Bachelor of Science in Interdisciplinary Studies, Early Childhood Education, Sweetwater, Texas. Anna Marie Rodriguez, Bachelor of Science in Interdisciplinary Studies, Early Childhood Education, Lubbock, Texas, Summa Cum Laude. Savannah Louise Renfro, Bachelor of Science in Interdisciplinary Studies, Early Childhood Education, Waco, Texas. Emily Nicole Box, Bachelor of Science in Interdisciplinary Studies, Middle School Education, Tohoka, Texas, summa cum laude. Lauren Elizabeth Slaughter, Bachelor of Science in Interdisciplinary Studies, Middle School Education, Ranger, Texas, Honors Scholar, summa cum laude. Amber Michelle Stark, Bachelor of Science in Interdisciplinary Studies, Middle School Education, Midland, Texas. Charles Emmett Bale III, Bachelor of Science in Interdisciplinary Studies, Secondary Education, Kermit, Texas. 
Molly Rebecca Brown Cox, Bachelor of Science in Interdisciplinary Studies, Secondary Education, Lubbock, Texas. Sarah Ann Lobley, Bachelor of Science in Secondary Education, Texline, Texas, Honors Scholar, Cum Laude. Stephen Blake Riley, Bachelor of Science in Interdisciplinary Studies, Secondary Education, Crosbyton, Texas. Carla Nicole Whitaker, Bachelor of Science in Interdisciplinary Studies, Secondary Education, Denver City, Texas. From the B. Ward Lane College of Professional Studies, Jordan R. E. LeClaire, Bachelor of Arts in Biology, Ogdensburg, New York. Colby Eli Poole, Bachelor of Arts in Biology, Lubbock, Texas. Bibi Zhu, Bachelor of Arts in Digital Media Arts and Applications from Shanghai, China, summa cum laude. Stephen Travis Harrelson, Bachelor of Business Administration from Midland, Texas. Eric R. Mozo, Bachelor of Business Administration, Beaufort, South Carolina. Tanner Nicholas Rainey, Bachelor of Business Administration, Geronimo, Oklahoma. Jacob Ryan Shavers, Bachelor of Business Administration, Lubbock, Texas. Monica Nicole Rivera, Bachelor of Business Administration and Accounting from Lubbock, Texas. Sarah Dawn Landers, Bachelor of Business Administration, Personal Financial Planning and Stewardship from Lubbock, Texas, Honor Scholar, summa cum laude. Lauren Ashley Seals, Bachelor of Science in Animal Science from Anton, Texas. Matthew Isaac Johnston, Bachelor of Science in Biology and Chemistry from Galveston, Texas. Kathleen Marie McCoy, Bachelor of Science in Economics from Lubbock, Texas. Alejandro Alegria, Bachelor of Science in Exercise Science from Dallas, Texas. Rebecca Lee Billings, Bachelor of Science in Exercise Science from Burleson, Texas. Taylor Lane Council Church, Bachelor of Science in Exercise Science from Fritch, Texas. Aaron Elaine Fisher, Bachelor of Science in Exercise Science from Monaghan, Texas, summa cum laude. Hunter Christian Hale, Bachelor of Science in Exercise Science from Rowlett, Texas. Stuart Alexander McDonald, Bachelor of Science in Exercise Science from Mesquite, Texas. Lizeth Ariana Galindo, Bachelor of Science in Organizational Management from Leveland, Texas, summa cum laude. Randy Brooke Roberson, Bachelor of Science in Exercise Science from Spring Lake Earth, Texas. Timothy Joel Salceda, Bachelor of Science in Exercise Science from Irving, Texas. Edgar Rivera, Bachelor of Science in Information Systems and Technology from Brownfield, Texas. Caskey Blaine Street, Bachelor of Science in Natural Resources Ecology and Conservation from Breckenridge, Texas. 
Caleb C. Tomlinson, Bachelor's of Science in Natural Resources, Ecology, and Conservation from Stanton, Texas. Holly Grace Wilson, Bachelor's of Science in Natural Resources, Ecology, and Conservation from Monday, Texas. Christy Beauregard, Bachelor's of Science in Organizational Leadership from Lubbock, Texas. Whitney Marie Mosh, Bachelor's of Science in Organizational Leadership from Odessa, Texas. Lori H. Mays, Bachelor's of Science in Organizational Leadership from Stephenville, Texas. Constance Gerilyn Sanders, Bachelor's of Science in Organizational Leadership from Lubbock, Texas. Robert Earl Stevens, Bachelor's of Science in Organizational Leadership from San Diego, California. Stephen Roy Tate Batten, Bachelor's of Science in Physical Education from Spearman, Texas. Michael Tyler Hunt, Bachelor's of Science in Sport Management from Seminole, Texas, cum laude. Jorge H. Martinez, Bachelor's of Science in Sports Management from Louisville, Texas. Joey Mario Villarreal, Bachelor's of Science in Sport Management from Amarillo, Texas. Ngoze Shinyere Nyuanu, Bachelor's of Science in Nursing, Umanya Abia, Summa Cum Laude. Patrick John Arnivar, Bachelor's of Science in Nursing from Arlington, Texas. Brittany Shane Ayola, Bachelor's of Science in Nursing from Lubbock, Texas, magna cum laude. Rosa Elena Black, Bachelor's of Science in Nursing from Leveland, Texas. Maria Juanita Gattaca Cortez, Bachelor's of Science in Nursing from Abernathy, Texas. Carla Denise Crawford, Bachelor's of Science in Nursing from Lubbock, Texas. Teresa Deanne Day, Bachelor's of Science in Nursing from Lockney, Texas. Ruth Valerio Dial, Bachelor's of Science in Nursing from Lubbock, Texas. Nikki Anise Fitz, Bachelor of Science in Nursing from Brownfield, Texas. Jesse L. Gleaton, Bachelor's of Science in Nursing from Clovis, New Mexico. Laura Beth Gleaton, Bachelor's of Science in Nursing from Clovis, New Mexico. Elizabeth Marie Pena Guerrero, Bachelor's of Science in Nursing from Lubbock, Texas. Veronica Jo Harris, Bachelor of Science in Nursing from Lubbock, Texas. Stacy Lynn Hemby, Bachelor of Science in Nursing from Canyon, Texas. Stephanie Ann Kalich, Bachelor of Science in Nursing from Slayton, Texas, cum laude. Jeffrey K. Knuthia, Bachelor's of Science in Nursing from Lubbock, Texas, summa cum laude. Caroline Meckles, Bachelor's of Science in Nursing from Midland, Texas, magna cum laude. Marybelle Morin, Bachelor's of Science in Nursing from Brownfield, Texas. Macy Marie Moses, Bachelor of Science in Nursing from Slayton, Texas. Ophelma Marlin Navarro, Bachelor of Science in Nursing from Clovis, New Mexico. Crystal Ann Pelham, Bachelor of Science in Nursing from Lubbock, Texas. Hubert Fern Farr, 
Bachelor's of Science in Nursing from Lubbock, Texas. Jerry Ray Farr, Bachelor's of Science in Nursing from Lubbock, Texas, cum laude. Yvonne Elise Ramos, Bachelor's of Science in Nursing from Lubbock, Texas, cum laude. Sonia June Redden, Bachelor's of Science in Nursing from Lubbock, Texas. Cynthia Marie Sandoval, Bachelor's of Science in Nursing from Lubbock, Texas. Jacqueline Sareem, Bachelor's of Science in Nursing from Lubbock, Texas, summa cum laude. Misty Leanne Sides, Bachelor's of Science in Nursing from Lubbock, Texas, summa cum laude. Melissa Jane Tomblin, Bachelor's of Science in Nursing from Lubbock, Texas. Josie Liddell Weisenhunt, Bachelor's of Science in Nursing from Post, Texas. Kayla Ray Yerksa, Bachelor's of Science in Nursing from Albuquerque, New Mexico. Marie Aline Lucio, Bachelor's of Science in Nursing from Clovis, New Mexico. Okay, graduates, here's your moment. Will you please move your tassels? Will you join me in honoring our graduates? At graduation, we celebrate the accomplishments of all of our graduates who have reached this important milestone in life. Each college also names an honor graduate, a person who has demonstrated outstanding academic ability and who represents the best of all the graduates. The Dean's Award is the highest academic award given by the university. This year, in the College of Biblical Studies and Behavioral Sciences, the Dean's Award goes to Michaela Morgan Chadwick. Michaela, would you come to the stage? Would you come to the stage? Yes. Michaela is graduating with a BA in Youth and Family Ministry. She is from Fort Worth, Texas. She is graduating magna cum laude, and Michaela is an honors scholar.
This year, in the J.E. and Eileen Hancock College of Liberal Arts and Education, the Dean's Award goes to Lauren Elizabeth Slaughter. Lauren, please come to the stage. It's hard for them to walk when they've got all those cords around their neck. Lauren is a BSIS middle, educa middle school education graduate. She's from Tohoka, Texas, summa cum laude, and Lauren is an honor scholar. This year in the B. Ward Lane College of Professional Studies, the Dean's Award goes to Sarah Dawn Landers. Sarah, please come to the stage. Sarah is graduating with a Bachelor's of Business Administration in Personal Financial Planning and Stewardship. She is from Lubbock, Texas. She's graduating summa cum laude and is also an honor scholar. Sheila Dye is the Assistant Vice President of Alumni and Community Relations and is an LCU graduate in the class of 1980. I know that she is very excited to have such a large number of graduates becoming a part of the alumni organization. She will now come to the microphone for a formal induction of these recent graduates. At the conclusion of this uh, induction, Dr. By Byron Rogers, Professor of Chemistry and Lecturer of Music, will lead us in the University alma mater. And Dr. Steve German, Professor of Organizational Management Business, will lead our benediction. Sheila. Thank you for choosing to be part of our LCU family for the time that you've been here. If you are a female graduate, you are now an alumna. If you are a male graduate, you are now an alumnus. And today, you will join other members of the alumni community that we call the LCU Alumni Connection because we consider you family and because you, we hope you will always consider us family. We hope that you will choose to be connected with us, with LCU, by keeping us updated about things that are going on in your life, marriages, births, job changes, and all of those exciting things that will happen in the rest of your story. We hope that you will choose to be engaged with us by giving of your time, your means, and your goodwill. That you will choose to be informed by watching out for news and updates that, we, that will be sent to you by email or by mail, or maybe even on social media. We hope that you will choose to be involved by mentoring a student, choosing to volunteer your time, attending LCU events, and coming home for sporting events and special events like homecoming and family weekend. Finally, we hope that you will be welcomed by accepting a handshake, a hug, a message of welcome from fellow alumni members. Many of our graduates have chosen to participate in the official LCU ring program and are now wearing your ring. The time has come for you to turn your ring with the cross and the university name facing outward. In turning the cross away from yourself where others can see it, you symbolically show Christ to others and share your LCU story with the world. Please turn your rings now. Would all of those in the audience who have graduated from Lubbock Christian University prior to today's ceremony please stand and remain standing. 
Will all former LCU students please stand and remain standing? Each of you are a link to the history of our university, and each of you play an important role in welcome, welcoming our graduates into the LCU Alumni Connection. Will all of today's graduates please stand? Please stand. Graduates, because you have completed the journey that qualifies you for graduation, I, on behalf of the larger LCU alumni community, am pleased to formally induct you into the LCU Alumni Connection. Please join me in, in congratulating them. <laughs> fellow, fellow alumni, we have come to describe our deep appreciation, gratefulness, and thankfulness for LCU in two words, forever blue. May we all be and stay forever blue. Proudly raise your chap high as we are led in singing the alma mater. The lyric is in the back cover of your program if you don't know it. All right. Hail to our own love, a Christian modern pioneers. May his blessings rest upon you always through the years. Ties of friendship, love unbounded, colors white and blue. Oh, beloved love, a Christian will be true to you. Hail to thee, our alma mater, love a Christian reigns, born to give the light of knowledge set on rolling plains. Learning character, citizenship with Christianity, Oh, beloved love, a Christian will remember thee. Go Shams. Will you pray with me? Father, I just want to thank you for a beautiful day and for time together with good people. Lord, we just want to thank you, first of all, for all the people that have been in support of the graduates that we see here today, family and friends and all kinds of people that have played a part in the, the success that these men and women have had in their academic careers, and we thank you for that. And Lord, also, we want to, I just want to thank you for these graduates. I want to ask that you will guide and prod them through your Holy Spirit to make decisions that glorify you through their lives. Please help them to use their gifts, their talents, and their abilities to your glory and help them to know that you are always present for, their, for strength and for guidance. All that they need to do is ask. And Lord, we ask you to bless this day of celebration. We thank you for loving us, for Jesus, for eternity with you. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We'll continue in prayer as we sing the Lord bless you and keep you. If you know it, please join. If you don't know it, please join. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord lift his countenance upon you and give you peace, and give you peace. The Lord make his face to shine upon you, and be gracious unto you. The Lord be gracious 
gracious unto you. Amen. 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 Will the audience please be seated?